Hello everyone, welcome to your fifth video tutorial about HTML and CSS and uh, in this video we're gonna see a brief introduction about CSS and uh, well in the previous video tutorial we created a couple of um, paragraphs so let's let's just uh, launch this in Chrome and this is what we're getting so how do we apply a little bit of style to these paragraphs um, through CSS? Let's go to the W3 schools and here you, you can see learn CSS. Here in the introduction, it says CSS. CSS stands for cascading style sheets. Um, and this is what actually is going to describe how the HTML documents, I mean the elements, are displayed on the screen, on papers, or even in other media. Um, it can control the layout of multiple web pages all at once. And we're going to use a CSS file to save our, our style sheet. Um, so the... The syntax, here is the syntax, is a little bit uh, different than what we use on HTML, but again, it's also pretty pretty simple. So here actually we can see um, how to style a paragraph. So we have the P is for the tag of the paragraph, and then we use a couple of curly braces, and then you're gonna put what you wanna a change what's the attribute that you want to change and then what is the value that you want to give to that attribute so the attribute you put the name and then uh, a column and then you put the value and then you end it with a semi semicolon uh, be aware of these semicolons if you don't put it you're gonna get strange results on the on the um, how the page gets displayed especially I think usually for example, here, if we miss this, I think we're going to see the color red, but then the text is not going to align or something like that. Some some weird weird things start happening. So always, always be sure to place your semicolon to end the the change that you or the attribute that you're going to change. Uh, now let's go to the file, uh, I mean, to the Notepad++ and let's create new a new file. And we're going to save this. Where am I? Okay. Yeah, this is the correct one. Uh, try to place it in the same directory where you have your your HTML, your index, or your main your main HTML document. Then here, let's look for the cascade style sheet CSS. Okay, and we're gonna name it. I don't know. Um, main style main style oh style there you go let's save this um, then as we saw we just put okay we're gonna give style to a paragraph is the only the only element we have right now so let's put the p for the paragraph and then the curly braces in here I'm gonna say okay the color color refers to the color of the font so color I want a blue blue font then uh, I don't know the font family I want it to be I don't know this is mm, No, it's better the, let's use the background color, this is better. Um, what, mm, a gray, a gray color, the semicolon. So make sure you put the semicolons, then let's save this. Now, if we go back and refresh, we're gonna see that 
nothing happens. Why is that? Well, we have created our main style, but we haven't tell our HTML document that it needs to refer to this main style to actually get its style. So how do we do that? And let's return to the W3 schools. Now we're gonna go back to the HTML and here we can see that we have the CSS, HTML, CSS, and we're gonna look for external CSS. In the head of the document, we need this right here. You can actually copy this, take it to your file, and paste it. Now, the only thing is that, make, let's make sure that we save this, we name it main style.css. You can name it whatever you want. So let's change the name. Main style. Main style. I think I got it right. I hope. Okay. So now we are making or we are let it, letting at this HTML document know that it needs to refer to this other file to get its uh it's a style. So let's go back to the index and refresh this. And there it is. We get the blue, the blue color for the font and the background color is gray. Okay. So that's pretty much how the CSS is going to work for us. We can continue creating more and more uh, HTML documents or pages and do the exact same thing. And, uh, make this reference to the same CSS file. So I can just change this color here or this color here. And all the web pages are going to reflect the change. At the same time, I don't have to go one by one changing all the colors, which would be very, very hard to do. If we have a, a very extensive uh, website and we got to go page by page looking paragraph by paragraph. So that's why CSS makes life's life much easier for us uh, styling our HTML documents. So, okay, well, that's the, the introduction to CSS. I uh, hope you find it very helpfully. Uh, thanks everyone for watching as, as usual and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.